Guys, today I have a really special vlog to you. We are gonna open that box that was in last week's vlog. Let's get Welcome to the Pull Out Vlog. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, so I'm wearing the old Team Hoot original shirt better. Let's just zip through all the stuff I usually say. If you're here, welcome. I would love for you to hit that little thumbs up button. It means you like me. And if you don't like me, hit it three times and then it will equal one dislike. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. If you like these vlogs or if it's your first time here or you've been here before, I don't usually do this with my finger. Hit the subscribe button. Good things will happen too. Confetti might shoot out of my butt. If you would like to support this channel and make it so it continues to keep going because I need to pay my student loans somehow, go to vsathletics.com and they have everything you'd ever want from poles to pits to shoes to hurdles to- They don't sell food, I don't think. So if you're hungry, go to Chipotle. If you don't want to shop there, but you like Amazon, go to team hoopcom in the upper right hand corner, there's an Amazon button, click on the Amazon button, and it takes you to Amazon, you just shop like you normally would, but Amazon's like, hey, thanks Sean for sending people over my way. And I'm like, yeah, I get to make these another week. And last but not least, if you would like to join Team Hoot, it is super easy. Uh, just go to, to team hoopcom the upper right hand corner, and click join Team Hoot. That's it, you're a member of the team, just help spread the philosophy, spread the word, and then when cool new stuff happens that I'm building, you will be the first to know. <laughs> Scott Houston decided to jump 578. <laughs> 1811. <laughs> Scott, you're my hero. That's really freaking high. He's the second highest jumper in the US this year, and he's got a few more meets to go. You know, when cool pole vault stuff happens, I feel like I should wear diapers, because I'm always about ready to or soil myself. Also, Mondo Duplantness broke the under 20 record that was held by Maxim Tarasov at 565, 18.4, and he almost jumped 19 feet. Is anyone else really excited about this world championships with all these guys? Too bad Scott Houston is not in there, but that's okay, Scotty. You're still a hero in my book. There was all our pole vault news, but I forgot to write it down and I lost it. I don't know where it is. So next week, there will be more. <coughs> guys, last week I talked about this box. I was going to open it. Let's see what's inside. Whoa. Here's the thing guys, I'm gonna do a proper review when it stops raining, it might not be today, but this thing's awesome, and I wanna thank Bruce Caldwell for sending it my way. Okay, my initial impressions are the zippers are tough. This doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. Like I said, I will do a full review when it stopped, it stopped raining now, but it doesn't look good. All right guys, since I just got this new pole bag, I have been meaning to make this video for a while, so let's tell you five ways to strap poles to your car for traveling. Let's go. Let's do these from worst to best. Worst to first, number five. You guys might think I'm joking, but I have seriously seen someone driving down the highway like this. Don't do it. Number four. They got the M15s. We got the M16s. It's too hot on the floor, man. It's too hot on the floor, bro. Number three, this one only you should use in an emergency, but I call it the hotel trick because you can do it with hotel towels. Okay, so here's how the towel trick works. You take your towel from the sides, tie a knot in the top, make sure it's a good knot, and you leave some space between the pole bag and the towel. I usually use a square knot, left over right, right over left. Good, do it twice. <laughs> Now from there, you just open the door and shut it on the towel. Okay guys, the last 
last two actually work the best. Here's what a lot of people use, these little ratchet straps and you strap them down and they're good and I used to use these but I found something better. These are canoe straps. It has one buckle. Slide the guy right through and it's not going anywhere. Look how fast that was. Didn't have to worry about it. You can even put it in backwards and it works. So this is what I use all the time. So I'm going to show you the second best way to attach them to your car and I'm going to show you the best way to attach them to your car. So if I don't have a roof rack or a way to put it on top, I always start with the trunk. I meant the hood. So I pop the hood and I look for the connector piece right here. Now this is usually where I go to the back of the car and I find that same latch for the trunk, but my trunk is different here. So I'm gonna show you the backup way to do it if you have a car built like this. So instead I go to the back seat and I find the headrest or something strong that's holding the seat down. Sometimes I double loop it depending on how far I go or how old I think my straps are and then just tie it off. Sometimes I just throw it in the windshield and you're good to go too. Whatever you think's best. And then do the same thing for the back. The most beautiful thing in this world is you, girl. Love it how you keep your body moving like it's nothing. Like my 22 is keeping spinning in your body shoes here. Break up the floor, now you know how we do here. Shake that thing like so and grab up like in that twins through the saw. Shake up. I know what everyone's thinking right now. Sean, why did you put it on the driver's side? I put it on the driver's side so I can keep an eye on it. And then if I have multiple people in the car, most people can get it out the other side a little bit quicker anyway. So, and I like to see it. I like to see if my pole bag's falling off. So I always put it on the driver's side and then I just scoot out the other. Or I can dukes of hazard it and climb out the window. Oh, I need to do more yoga. You can do what you want. And the best way to travel with poles in my opinion on the roof. You shining like my diamonds in my watch from Jacob. Yeah, you can't even play so nobody can test you. Okay guys, this is my all time favorite way to travel with pole bags. I go under, over, under, over. We got the It's too high the so then from there you do the same thing to the back with the other pole and you're good to go. Absolute best because you can get in and out of the doors. Um, they're less likely to bang on stuff when they're on the roof. You can still see them when you're out to the front. They just look freaking cool that way. my final review on this pole vault rock back bag it's team who'd approved bruce caldwell sent me formerly of essex but now of rock back pole but well he's been always been rock he's a good dude anyways he sent me this bag he's like hey sean can you just do a little like review on this and tell people it's out there i was like yeah i'd love to so he sent me this bag and this cool card he moves i want a cool card like that Anyways, in the next week or two, I will do a more formal review on these uh, pole bags. I talked to vsathletics.com and they just put them on their website. So, if you want to help me out, help Bruce out, and help yourself out, head over to vsathletics.com and then you can get some of these really cool drop back pole bags. Guys, I didn't review any videos because I got about 20 video reviews and nobody wanted them to be on the vlog, so there aren't any. So instead, for, the, for a little while, um, I'm gonna put the free ones back up. I'm gonna put I'll put five up. People seem to really like the video reviews. So let's, I'm gonna limit it to three for the next couple weeks and go from there. So if you're one of the top three, you will get your video reviewed and you're good to go. Guys, there are lots of ways to pole vault, so find what works for you. I'm just throwing out some ideas and if they work, cool. If they don't, try some other ideas. I'm all about ideas and trying new things. Try not to get stuck in a model, create your own. Life is meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys next time. Some of you don't know, this is like the second pole vault channel I had. If you go and look down below, I will put links to season one, two, three, and four 
of when I was training full time because I've been getting a lot of emails about that too. All this stuff is in the links in the description. The description is awesome. Check it out. This tea is great. Bye.